that ten Stupot is facing funding troubles for the second year in a row. Yeah, leaders forced to cancel one of their biggest fundraisers of the year. 16 WAPT's Ann Parker is live at Stupot tonight. Ann. Yeah, Megan, Stupot's had the Red Beans and Rice Festival for 24 years. They depend on the money to help them get through Christmas. This year, since it's canceled, things are going to be pretty tight. I'm very disheartened. It's one of our biggest fundraisers of the year. Tens of thousands of dollars lost after Supot announced they're canceling their Red Beans and Rice Festival this year. We average about $75,000 from this event. Special Events Coordinator Michelle Bingham says they're very dependent on the money raised, but this year, low contestant participation forced Stupot to cancel the fundraiser. And we just didn't want to put on an event that our sponsors could not be proud to attach their names and logos to. Bingham says a lot of the people who started this event 24 years ago are getting older and not able to participate anymore. It's a lot to come and, you know, cook beans the day of. And we just need the younger crowd to come in and, and try to, you know, step in and take over. At this point in the year, it's nearly impossible for Supot to make up for this financial loss. We're going to try our best to make sure that no program is slighted from this point on, but uh, we will have to make some, some very skim adjustments for it, for it, for us to be able to do what we need to do to the end of the year. Bingham says she isn't going to lose hope. I'm not worried um, because I know that you know we have faithful donors and they will you know provide what we need, but um, it will be tight. We usually have about 20 to 25 teams, and we weren't even in double digits. Now, last year, Supot did we did end up running a special report for Supot and raised over a hundred thousand dollars in donations. Supot is in the same situation again this year. They are asking for your donations, big or small. Live at Supot and Parker, 16 WABT News.